Hi guys, Roxanne here from Tiny Home Living. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day and the chickens are outside. They're happy to be roaming around even though there's snow on the ground and it's winter now. But uh, I'm going to take you out to the tiny house to show you the exciting progress that Chris got done. He got the rest of those tiles laid and the grout done. So it looks amazing. Now before I take you outside, I just want to ask you to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget the thumbs up. It helps us so much. And um, what, share this video with your family and friends. That helps us immensely too in growing the channel. It's really tough starting out as a new channel. But uh, let's go outside, um, see the chickens and say hello, and go look at the progress with the tiles. This is so exciting to me because you know what comes next. Oh, she's over there. And WP is over at the door to the tiny house. Let's go have a little look at WP. I haven't seen her in such a long time. No, how are you girls doing? It's such a beautiful warm day. Yeah, it's so nice out. It's so nice out, isn't it? Yeah. There's WP. Oh, she's gonna run away. You're a pretty chicken, too. Under the sea can. There's the little chicken. I can only tell her by her crop now. There she is. See how she's barely got any crop? That's a little chicken. She's the one that escaped. And I was saying to Chris the other day, I wonder if she's the one that was so friendly with me when she was tiny and I shut her little leg in the door one day by mistake. Yeah, you're a cute little chicken too, aren't you? She's very friendly. She likes to let Chris pick her up and everything. So maybe she is the friendly one that was so friendly from the beginning. Can I go in here and check on the tiny house because Chris got the tiles grouted. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can hear the heater, the flame, so I better get in and close the door. Oh my goodness, I could sure smell the propane in here. I think I'm gonna turn this off, it's so warm in here. It's such a warm day, that's why. Mm, let me see now. There we go. Yeah, I can really smell the propane and um, does that look beautiful? Oh, I'm so happy with the color of the grip that I picked. I can feel a bit of an edge on that tile. I could see it right away. And this is another thing you have to watch for. Um, but extremely happy with this. My goodness. Like the, you see how the grout almost disappears. And that's what I wanted. And then up here, Chris had a really hard time because the grout kept getting caught on all these ridges and everything. It made it really difficult for him. And he, you know, the lighting was so poor too. And then this one, because the tiles are not smooth, the grout was really sticking to them and it made it really difficult. So he had a hard time. Um, getting the grout done. And then see this crack here? This is why I got the matching caulking to go down this um, corner. Rather than try to get grout, the grout will not stick in there very easily. So you can see what an awesome job Chris did of grouting. And like I say, I can see that this tile is out a little bit from that one, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, the main thing is that uh, they're finished off really nicely. He's got the tape on the Schluter now because he didn't want to get um, grout on the paint. Um, but uh, yeah, he did it over here too. We'll, we'll wash this off a little bit better, the Schluter, but you can see the Schluter there. And um, so we had to get a little bit of grout in here and a little bit up at the top because the tiles did slide down. But you can see again how 
Just getting some grout in there too. Um, solves that problem. Very, very happy with this grout color. And I mean, I'm over the moon about these tiles. Oh my goodness. Gonna be able to get the wood stove in here. And you can see again how nice um, this looks. When we go to install the vinyl, the vinyl just slips right underneath there. Just like that. Look how nice that finishes everything off. And then of course you've got the slope here so it's not gonna um, be like a rough edge, a really high edge that's going to slam into the balls of your feet when you're barefoot. So that's looking at it from back here. Like we always joke, good from far. I just wiped this bit of um, transition off here because you can see how there's still some of the efflorescence on there. You can really see it over here. So I just wipe this off with a little bit of water and you can see how pretty that looks. And it's the same um, finish as the Schluter. The other thing I wanted to mention was the reason we didn't do the floor tiles, we were gonna, we could, we're gonna do it um, with a full one and then them going this way and then that way again to match the wall. But this made it easier for Chris so that there were less tiles to cut. He just got all these full ones done first and then to do these ones. And um, then we didn't need those little pieces to go in the doorway of the bathroom here because you see the, the door is not gonna fill this um, passageway. So the door is gonna be like over here. So if the tiles ended here, you would see a little bit of the vinyl floor and then it would continue under the door. So this worked out really, really well. Um, he only had to cut that tile. Well, that one cut straight, but these ones were cut straight. And of course you could use two tiles or one tile to get two and then one to get this one and that one. And then he had to cut that one straight and these two had to be notched. So it made a lot less cutting for him. And then of course he um, had to cut the one to go underneath there to add to what he had done. So finish the caulking up here and uh, wash this up a bit again, like get the tape off, wash the shiny surfaces, and then um, we can get that beautiful stove in. So again, this is the transition on this side, same thing as the other side, to make it so you're not gonna be hitting your foot on a square edge. So happy with this. I'm craving some boiled eggs, so I'm gonna <laughs> look at the size of these things. I'm gonna boil a bunch of them. I got some that like are all about the same size, um, so that they'll cook about the same. Some of them are fatter than others, but these are what we were calling the ostrich eggs. <laughs> so we think that the young couple that got the um, Six chickens might have got the ostrich egg layer. Like, look at this thing. I have really big hands for a woman, and these are monster eggs. So, I'm just gonna boil some of these up. And they've been in the fridge for a while, so they should peel nicely. The fresh eggs don't peel nicely. What do you think? You get the top off of Grammy's boiled eggs, don't you? Yeah. Well, like I said, it doesn't get much more exciting than that. Chris did an amazing job on the grout considering the lighting was so poor in there and it was difficult, you know, with the bumpy part on the colored tiles and then the gray tiles being very, uh, not as smooth as other tiles. So I think he did an amazing job. That grout uh, that has the sealer in it is so much harder to work with than just normal grout. 
Um, it looks awesome and it gets us, well, the transition looks awesome too. Really excited about that and, and uh, it looks awesome with the, the Schluter and it's going to be perfect for the flooring. So um, it gets us one step closer to moving my wood cook stove in and I'm going to lose my mind when that comes. That is going to be a task, getting that thing 600 pounds loaded through that doorway by a bunch of old people. <laughs> anyway, hope you're enjoying the videos. Something really exciting to look forward to. And um, I'll say goodbye for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and share this video with your family and friends. And we'll see you next time.